Here are three spoons, AJ. Mm -hmm. Sterling silver. The one in the center is nice and clean, right? That's the way yeah. it's supposed to look. These two have a black coating on them. That usually happens with silver. And you have to clean them. Have you ever tried to clean silver? Yeah, my mom gave me some work to do. I had to polish and polish and polish. Yeah. You put a sort of gooey stuff on it, yeah. and then you keep rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. Well, the reason why that happens is because silver reacts very easily with sulfur compounds. Mm -hmm. any kind of sulfur in the air or in various foods like mayonnaise or egg yolk and that sort of thing and what it does is it deposits silver sulfide on the outside of the silver and that's what you're trying to clean off we're going to do it but this time we're going to do it chemically here take this here's the spoon we're going okay. to clean come on over here at the stove you see i've got the boiling water here on the stove mm -hmm. okay what you need is common everyday household materials there's a spoon put in a teaspoon of baking soda into, I've got roughly a liter or a quart of water. Okay, oh, stir that in a little bit. Okay. And now some salt over there. Okay. Put in about a teaspoon of that. So we have a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of soda, and a quart or liter of water. Okay, now stir that in. Now, you can do this in any kind of a, a dish. The important thing is, however, that you need a supply of aluminum. So you see that piece of aluminum foil sitting over there? Yeah. Okay, we wanna put that in and just put it in the bottom. Okay, now poke it all down so that we get some of the liquid on the top. Here, you wanna take that? And I'll take this tongs over here. Okay. Now, I say you can do this in a glass dish, but the important thing is that you have a supply of aluminum someplace because what you're going, what you're going to do is dip the spoon in part way into the solution so it touches the silver, and a chemical reaction takes place between the silver sulfide on the outside, and it takes it from there and deposits it on the aluminum foil. When you're all through, you throw the aluminum foil away. Okay. So here, take that. Let me poke it down here a little more. Hold on a minute. It's bubbling. Yeah. Well, the hot water is important because that speeds up the chemical reaction. Yeah. Okay, now just take about half the spoon and stick it down here and touch the silver. No, no, not all the way, just halfway. That down. Take it out, quick. Holy, it's all gone. <laughs> it's already gone. Yes. That's how fast it works. Okay, put the whole spoon in. We'll... Okay. So it touches the, the aluminum. Leave it in there for... In this case, I didn't have too, uh, too much of a... Uh, a coating on the outside. Okay, now here, take the tongs. Okay. And can you pick up the spoon and bring it over there and we can compare it to the oh. one we left on the table? Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. There you go. Okay, it's still hot. Here, put it down over here. See that? Holy, like it's exactly the same. All right, so now all, all you need to do is uh, uh, clean it, rinse it off with nice uh, warm water and polish it with a soft cloth. So no more polishing of silver. Yeah. You do it chemically using water, baking soda, and salt.